Right. Affordable housing, new businesses, and historic restoration are coming to one local neighborhood. Local 12's Genesis Narrows is live in College Hill this morning with a look at the revitalization work taking place right now. Jenna's been covering this for months. It's coming along, Jenna. <laughs> It is coming along. Good morning, you guys. And this is called the Keymark Project. It's an exciting time here in College Hill. It is a $9.5 million project. Like you guys mentioned, it's going to bring in restaurants, new businesses, affordable housing, but it's also going to keep one piece of history alive. Behind us is the Hollywood Theater. It's an icon here in College Hill. While the Hollywood Theater's been closed since 1994, its parking lot turned into a place which became a staple during the pandemic. As much of the world was shut down, staff with College Hill Community Urban Redevelopment Corporation worked to bring the community back together. So uh, we came up with this idea for the Hollywood Drive-In Theater. We have this parking lot here that was vacant uh, for obvious reasons during the pandemic. We spaced it out, uh, we put all these uh, spots in here, uh, found an old movie screen from the drive -in, from the Hollywood theater, hung it up on the drive-in itself and started playing movies every weekend. Um, and it became a, such a huge hit. What was supposed to only be a one-time event turned into all summer, then ran through fall, and it was even brought back for a second season last year. But as for this summer, it's a no-go as construction is taking over the parking lot and surrounding buildings. So after years of neglect on this parking lot, it's coming back to life. Uh, we're going to be revitalizing it to be paying homage to the Hollywood Drive-In Theater, um, as well as allow future events to take place here. The plan is to reconstruct a new drive-in theater. And for one local couple, they're thrilled to see it stay. Like the fact that they're redoing it, like we know that we're going to be there ourselves a lot of the time just because it's going to be such a place to hold so many memories. Paul and Bernadette went on one of their first dates at the Hollywood Drive-In back during the pandemic. It's also the spot where they shared their first kiss. Fast forward two years later, Paul popped the big question. And they're in the middle of construction. It's it's almost like an abandoned parking lot. And it's a funny thing to just sit there and decide that like, that's where you want to have a proposal. It's not like the best like looking spot. Like you can tell in like a couple of our pictures, like the background is like um, like a the dumpster. dumpster. It isn't like exactly like, oh, like the, it's not like the most beautiful place in the world, but it meant so much to us. You don't really see the stories that are happening in the cars along the way because they're, you know, they were siloed intentionally. Uh, so it's really great to see that the Hollywood Driving Theater had a bigger impact than just a one night only. It has a lifetime of memories coming out of it. Paul and Bernadette plan to get married May of next year, and I already asked them. They say they are not getting married at the drive-in theater, but they do plan to come back uh, quite often once this is all revitalized. For now, we're live in College Hill. Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News. Jenna, and that Target opening date for the drive-in theater is next summer.